just wait till he's clear to the runway so, so we can take off. Fears he's heading for that one. Then that way you can get the beast in position. Go oh, behind that small one for sure. He's heading out this time. Parting just ahead of it. Yeah, and he's getting ready to go. Oh, the beast is in the air. The small plane is in the air. Now here, the larger twin engine will follow. And he's getting in position over there. But it, a couple of them parting. One of them may come. Here's another one getting ready to depart. A small one. He's departed as well. Next is going to be the big twin engine. He's going to follow from here, I think. Once the big end, the big twin propellers are moving, he'll get it going. And here's a small one coming in. So he's gonna have to wait till that one hit gets in, so he can get out. I decided to watch the twin engine this angle because he's not. That's not usually what I see every day. Even though we're mainly used to seeing larger jets. <laughs> they use most of them two jet engines, but this is two propellers side by side working together on each wing at this time. Yeah, the, yeah this one's definitely practicing. You gotta do that before you can actually get your hands on a, hands on one of these guys. Before you can get your hands on one of these, you'll have to definitely practice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that twin engine. The twin engine will now position this way. And there's a small chopper as well. Flying overhead. He's checking the area for safety. Well, we know the big one does a lot more, which is the uh, triple free. Twin engine is waiting for clearance. To the runway so you can get moving. So we can get out of here. And meanwhile, while we're waiting, we can watch this chopper. As he's carefully gonna touch down over there. Oh. It's a little guy has the small the small chopper will touch down over there. So the small plane has to let the twin engine has to wait for another small plane. As the chopper gets on the As the chopper stretches down completely. He's got it in one land here. Next to the twin engine. This one's definitely practicing his takeoff and lands. So now that one's departing. And now that means the twin engine will be next. Which is bigger than that.
It's a small one for the twin engine. Someone does. There's no clearance still. These engines sound like they're gonna start. Take them off, or again, mainly the MS Pets. If I see a white line on a chopper glowing, that means I'll have to be careful to clear the area because the MS Rover Spell is starting to <laughs> doubt. Right. Okay. Alright. This machine here, the tug is pulling and pulling this trailer plane in for repairs. And they have to do this from time to time. See what happens at the small plane. We gotta figure out when he's clear to the runway. I think he's just gonna have to wait until yeah, it's till one of the other ones clears. Twin engine. He's probably getting ready to enter. Because this one's preparing to depart. I don't know. Yeah, that twin engine is going to arrive as the one here is getting ready to depart. The one here will be getting ready to head out. Eh. My eyes are too warm. And gonna have to give this guy another another small plane. So we're in yeah. There's a twin engine getting ready to the part. There's a twin engine getting ready to depart. He's over there. See that long thing over there? That's the twin engine. He's get the one that's all the way in the corner. He's now on the runway. And he's getting ready to head out. You see how I can tell? If I see them head, if I see one heading in like that, we know we have one that's getting ready to head out. Okay. So at this time, the twin engineer, he's heading out. Okay. And he's gonna get his front positioned on there and when you see him start to rev up he's gonna get ready to get out of here <laughs> so get ready now his front is pointing he usually takes the one closest to our position because he's so big yeah. he's a little bigger than that small he's bigger than these and he was and i decided and i knew he was about to get going so i and i think there may be another one heading in in the opposite direction I know which I've known this stuff for years. I've come here since I was two, and we can't forget get Trooper Free, the Augusta. He's the loudest. If I hear his rotor starting to, if I hear a big rotor coming on, that's him. But first, as the twin engines waiting to depart, a small plane will head in. That small one that's a little lower. And we got this blue and white small plane getting heading this way. He's heading in. Of course, uh, a lot of people thought, with my eyes being so good, they think I should have worked with these things, but I wasn't too sure. Because I didn't want to overdo it and hurt myself. But they understand. The twin engine will be out of here in a second. Once that small one clears the runway... Most of that second one that's behind, that's turning, that's going to be following that small one, clears. And in a minute, I think he's got his front pointing this way, by the way. Not these small ones, but the twin engine over there. 
that black that white thing with black stripes yeah. and yep as I fought he's now going quicker and about to be out of here see that he's now getting ready to the park so all he's got to do is get his nose in the air and that's it Now the twin engine has front axle in position and rear axles. As this small plane comes in, same time. Now the twin engine's revving up. This is what that bigger propeller plane's called. He's bigger than this one. Lower. Now he's moving faster. And now, let's see now. He's off. And the small plane is 